Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV X360 M6 model and the exact model would be M6-AQ105DX now in this video I'm gonna take you on a step by step how to open it up and how to upgrade the RAM for this model if you want to add let's say a 32 gig RAM you can easily do it and it is doable I do not know why on a on a website on a manual you say it, you can't go up to 32 gig 16 gig max but we did have upgraded these laptops up to 32 gig with no issues and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to remove the RAMs or replace the RAMs or upgrade them and this applies for any M6 uh, AQ model series so doesn't matter if you have an AQ 205 or 105 doesn't matter is the same way that they open up all right let's get into it first the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set for the screwdriver set i'm going to be using recommending you guys to get the ifixit tool set these bits are made out of s2 class steels that means they're really tough and steel and they will last you a long period of time you're going to be using a phillips number one and we are going to be using a torque number five also you will need a um, mass a guitar pick or opening tool something like this and i will suggest you get a guitar pick it's really soft edges and tough to bend so we're going to be using this one all right i did pick up the beds but i forgot to grab the screwdriver all right now once you turn off the laptop you want to flip it upside down you want to look at the bottom of the laptop and this laptop is really banged out so it is actually deformed on the corner so bear with me and right at the bottom cover here and there should be a rubber legs over here or yours might fall off or like the one that it did in here actually there's four missing rubber legs in here what do you need to do to grab your guitar pick and stick it between the rubber legs on here and it has a little adhesive and remove the round rubber legs right here remove the back uh, rubber legs you don't need to remove the front ones just the back because there is a hidden screw right underneath go ahead and remove this screw these are the phillips number one both screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them use a magnet to pull it out all right now we're going to switch to a torque embed torque number five and we're going to remove the two screws on the back middle and the four in the front row of the laptop go ahead and remove these ones also i realize there's only one person of my viewers are subscribed to my channel if you guys want to support the channel and help out a little bit you can just click like and subscribe i really, really appreciate it tremendous support all right now that we removed all the screws in here you're going to grab the guitar pick and we're going to start from the front end of the laptop you're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover right there not the screen so the screen is right over here so you want to stick it between this cover right there and you want to just twist it towards the back and you're going to hear some clicks you want to hear those clicking you want to do the front end go ahead to the side to the side just twist it all the way make sure you hit those clicks you can put your finger in the corner so it doesn't go back down do all the way to the back corner now do on the right side you can try the back end by the grill right there right at the bottom of the grill right there and do that one right there once you did this one just grab the top part there's a tiny hooks in the middle right two of them you need to pull really hard on them to release it so just pretty much grab it from here and just wiggle it around and pull up so you can release these hooks right here these are like humongous hooks 
So yeah, you can release this one that grabbed it from here. Here. And the other one I'm guessing is somewhere. Let's see where it is. It grabbed it from the battery, I guess. It doesn't grab from anywhere. So there are two of them, but this one actually grabs it from here. This one grabs it from there. And this one doesn't grab from anywhere, it's just a support. All right, this is the bottom cover, bottom chassis. All right, down here, the RAM is gonna be under this cover right over here. To get to the ace one, you don't wanna make a short or anything like that. So go ahead and disconnect the battery by putting to your fingers at the end of the jack right here on the white cover and pulling it towards the hard drive in front. So just pull it towards the front and you get disconnected the battery. All right, once you got the battery disconnected, you can go ahead and grab this sheet over here from the side and pull it up and bring it up it's straight has a little tiny hooks on here that grabs it from here so it's pretty much you want to lift it up be careful it's really really sharp i have cut it myself with this one and it really hurts so once you remove this one over here the rams are exposed right in here these are a DDR4 RAMs. Each one of them is an 8 gig and 8 gig, so you have a 16 gig. You can place a 16 and 16 gig and it will work just fine. To remove the RAMs, all you need to do is pull these two triggers away from each other, just like so. And with a little help and a little push from that, it will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. Now all you need to do is grab it in 45 degree and pull it out in the same direction that it, came, it was facing up. So do not yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the dam or damage the RAM module. So um, if let's say you grab the 16 gig, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dam. Alright, once the notch matches, just grab it, bring it in 45 degrees, just landing an airplane, 45 all the way towards the jack and then push it towards the motherboard and you should hear two clicks that's how you do it so pretty much replace this one again to remove pull them away from each other a little bit of help you just come out pull it out in 45 if you try to put it the other way around it will not just simply go through because the notch don't match so flip place push it towards the motherboard and once you did that just grab the cover you see these tiny clips right here Make sure you, as long as you match one clip and the second clip right here, make sure you just pinch it, just a little thing that just hooks on these ones. Align it. Once you match these two and just press it down, and the rest should go in place according. Right. Once you have that one in there, and the last thing is to grab the jack and just push it towards the connector and leave it right there. And also remember when you upgrade the RAM and you put the new RAM in here, when you power on, it might take to five to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect and configure the RAM, so don't panic. Also, if you upgrade your RAM, sometimes you might have to switch the places in order to get the screen to boot up. So even just keep that in mind. If you turn it on, it doesn't turn on, open it up and replace, switch the places and then boot it on. And see how it reacts and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover bring it over and sit it down straight and push it down towards the motherboard and from here the rest should be really easy if you see any opening just pinch them between the top and the bottom cover and that should be all and the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws. The two black screws goes right under the hinge, under the rubber legs, and the silver color, they go all over there wherever you find a screw hole. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade. If you did, please click the like button. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.